How do you think about the, the porousness of the building and the larger urban life? How do you think about connecting buildings to the urban spaces around them? Uh, you know, I think that uh, I'm speaking about Sao Paulo, which mm -hmm. is uh, the place where I work mostly. Sao Paulo is, uh, is a city that has no uh, natural references as Rio has. So for Sao Paulo... I must say, I must have been here seven or eight times in my life. I never know where I am yes, driving yes, around Sao Paulo. It's, it's, yeah. it's completely, I would say, impossible yeah. to find yourself in the city unless you, you know the city. And the city is huge, so in, in certain parts of the city I get lost. Mm -hmm. I have to use now <laughs> right, Google Maps. Or Google way. Maps. Yeah. Uh, so for me, uh, architecture in Sao Paulo, if you have the chance of doing a, a big building or something expressive, is reconstruct the topography. Mm -hmm. So you've also worked in favelas in, in poor parts of Sao Paulo. What's that like? So education is very important. When you have kids, families, they need support, they need attention, they need love. Uh, I do whatever is possible with the minimum, minimum of resources. Uh, I made 20 years ago, I start this work in the suburban area of Sao Paulo. Uh, which is Capela do Socorro. Capela do Socorro. Capela do Socorro. And we got a, a huge piece of land of an investor in Sao Paulo that would like to do something for mm -hmm. these people. And we start doing almost nothing in terms of construction. Very little constructions. But we are focused in attention to these people. So yeah. listening to them. Talking to them. Talking to them, helping them to improve their lives. Mm -hmm. And after 20 years, I think that in terms of architecture, it's a very, very happy space, mm -hmm. full of color, very simple. And the best thing, I feel, that these kids, those families, they, they grow up. They have opportunities in life. And of course, if we have more money and opportunities, I will do a better architecture in terms of construction. But I consider that I did with my colleagues and friends a good architecture for these people. My feeling is, as an architect, we can provide for these suburban areas, very poor areas, and that they don't like that we call favelas in right. this space. They, they think they are houses. Sure. They, uh, is, is to empower these people in terms of the possibilities they have to live better. Because they are happy. They, if they have a chance to express themselves, as they have a chance to eat, to play, and to learn, they, they can do incredible things. So public spaces in these suburban areas can be difficult to maintain, right? It can be hard to stop people from encroaching on public areas, either outsiders, I guess, or the, or the insiders allocating, allocating them. How do you deal with protecting the commons, protecting the public space from? Oh, we, you, you let them open. No fences, no walls. And a few weeks ago, we have a very nice experience during a seminar when uh, two 12 old uh, years boy, he stand up and he said, I would like to speak a few words. Three months ago, I was in a very, very uh, important school around this place. The school the, uh, were full of walls, fences, but there was a very tense feeling. Everybody was fighting, accusing each other. There was a lot of graffiti in the walls. You, ca you could not go outside. You have to get, get inside, getting permission. So he was uh, telling about this experience, which mm -hmm. was very hard for him. Mm -hmm. And he said, in this place, I am amazed. No fences, no walls. Everybody's so happy. Everybody helps each other. 
no fights, everybody, everything is clean, colors are great. And this guy was 12 years old. Mm. So we've been uh, hearing several kids telling the same. Right. So for me, this is a kind of uh, experience that you should improve. Architecture is uh, very important, but you have to enlarge your vision of what architecture is. It's not solely construction of spaces. It's also construction of self-reference, of proud, of opportunities, and then they start to build.